first step in regripping a golf club, you want to remove the old grip. Uh, doing so on a composite shaft like this one, you would usually want to use a hooked blade on a box cutter as opposed to a normal blade like I'm using here. A hooked blade has less chance of actually damaging or cutting into the shaft. Uh, I didn't have one on hand so I just used a regular blade. You would want to then just make several small light cuts to avoid cutting into the shaft. And once you have the grip removed, you then go ahead and start removing any tape, glue, residue, anything that's left over from the previous install. Once you have all the old tape removed, you want to go ahead and cut strips of painter's tape uh, about half an inch to an inch shorter than your new grip. Uh, and you want to begin by installing that uh, about half an inch to an inch before where your new grip will end on the shaft. Uh, just to avoid any tape sticking out past the new grip. You don't want uh, a mess from the glue or the tape itself sticking out past. And once you have it cut, you'll want to have it installed on nice and smooth. Make sure you don't have any folds or air pockets or anything underneath the tape. Once you get all the tape on nice and smooth, you don't want any wrinkles, any air bubbles, you can then go ahead and tear off any a large amount of access that you might have at the end. As you can see here, I had a good inch or more. Uh, you can just tear it off so that there's about a half an inch left. Fold it over, stuff it inside the end of the shaft. Then you want to go ahead and uh, prep the new grip. Here I have a little bit of just uh, car soap, car wash. Uh, put it in. Just makes a little bit of a lubricant to make it easier sliding onto the shaft. Then you go ahead and actually slide it on over the tape. And uh, I tried to slide it on probably a good inch or so, just so that way it, uh, you have a, a decent base to grab hold of. Then inserting your blow gun from your air compressor into the hole on the end of the grip. In slow controlled bursts, you're able to just slide the grip on. It goes on fairly easy. You don't really have to force it. The air will go on its own. And if you need to adjust it to fix the lineup on it, make sure it's lined up with the head, you can just short little bursts of air and twist it as you need.